the door. Ah! Got it. <laughs> Oh, an Instagram message from Elsa. Are you going to the snowball tonight? <gasps> I totally forgot the snowball was tonight. I need a gown. Did someone say gown? That happens to be my specialty. Fairy Godmother, I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. Why am I here again? I need a dress for the snowball dance. Here, what do you see? I see a servant girl in a plain dress. Look closer. Bippity boppity. Blue, my favorite color. And it's perfect for the snowball. I know that, silly. Now, let's go try this on. Cinderella, are you home? I need your help convincing Belle to marry me! I brought some spreadsheets with new strategies and I need the princess perspective. Ah, that must be Prince Charming's dartboard. But I don't see any darts around. Hmm. Oh well, don't need them. <laughs> ah, bullseye! Ha <laughs> ha, you got it, Gaston. Ooh! Is this a magic wand? Oh! <gasps> and a magic mirror? Ooh! I wonder if these belong to that fairy godmother lady. Forget Cinderella! This is all the help I need. <sighs> I'm coming! I'm coming! Hold your horses! Uh, hi! Um, I got a package for, uh, Adam, Prince. Is he here? He needs to sign for it. All right, I'll go get him, right this way. I can't believe Gaston got his hands on Fairy Godmother's magic wand. This is almost too easy. Uh, you need me to sign for something? Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, uh, are you uh, Adam Prince? Close, I'm Prince Adam. Not for long, bippity boppity beast. <laughs> Adam, who's at the door? Got it! <laughs> oh, wow! Thank you so much, Fairy Godmother. I can't believe how beautiful this looks. Believe it, my dear. Anything is possible if you keep on believing. You're absolutely right. Do you think you could help my other princess friends get ready for the snowball? Of course, my dear. Crazy old Maurice, my favorite inventor of useless gadget. Gaston, what are you doing here? You're not allowed in our house after you tried to hurt Prince Adam. Prince Adam? Never heard of him. But I did see Belle with a big hairy beast today. What? A beast? See for yourself. What's happened to Prince Adam? Who knows? Who cares? The real question you should be asking yourself is, do I really want baby beasts as grandkids? Hmm? What are you talking about, Gaston? Let me show you what the future looks like. Oh no! This is a nightmare! I'm sorry, Maurice. I really am. If only there was someone else willing to marry Belle. That's it, Gaston! You have to marry Belle! Me? Why? I don't know. This is all so sudden. We simply can't let this happen. Please let me betroth Belle to you, Gaston. Of course, Maurice. Anything to help. Hello there, Queen Elsa. Um, hello. Who are you? I'm a fairy godmother, and I was sent to you by your good friend Cinderella to help you get ready for the snowball tonight. OMG! I've always wanted a fairy godmother. Well, here I am, my dear, on loan, just for tonight. That is so sweet of you and Cinderella, but when it comes to snow, I actually don't need any help. Watch. There! Oh! <laughs> well, aren't you too cool for school? Well. 
I'm off to the next princess then. Belle! I just heard what happened! I have no idea how we got turned into a beast again. This is all like a really bad dream. Don't worry, I figured everything out. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Do you have an invention we could use? Not quite. <sighs> oh, Belle, I'm sorry. It's me, I, I don't know what happened. We have to find the Enchantress and get her to turn me back. Stop right there, Beast. Dad, this is Prince Adam, remember? Not anymore. I'm sorry, Belle, but I can't let you marry a monster. Who knows how ferocious he might become? Oh, but Maurice. That's enough out of you. I'm going to have to lock you up, and I'm not leaving this castle until Belle and Gaston are married. What? Gaston? Dad, are you joking? Is this April Fools? It's not even April! Yes, it's the only way! That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever! Seriously? You'll do what I say, young lady! I 100% refuse! Belle? Cinderella's fairy godmother, is that you? It is I, and I am here to get you ready for the snowball with one swish of my magic... Oh dear, I must have left it at Cinderella's. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Fairies are so forgetful sometimes. Bafu, what are you doing here? Oh, I was coming to find you! Uh, the beast put crazy old Maurice, I mean your father, in jail! What? Gaston's the only one with the key to his cell, and he won't free him unless you two get married. I have zero idea what's happening right now. Whatever it takes to get everybody out of jail and back to normal. Excellent! You can stay at your father's until the wedding. Here you go! Oh, great! A wedding dress. Wonderful. Girl, you look stunning! I should have been a fashion designer. Le Fou Vuitton. <laughs> Wait a second, where did you get that magic wand? Uh, gotta go! Cinderella, have you seen my magic wand or magic mirror? I left them right on the table there. I haven't seen them, but I do think someone was here. Someone spit all over the dartboard. Oh goodness, that's positively deplorable. Whoever they were, I bet they took your magic mirror and wand. Who could have done it? There's only one person I know who's especially good at expectorating. Gaston! But why would he take the mirror and wand? To marry Belle, probably. That's the only reason Gaston does anything. We've got to get to Belle. Let's go. Fairy Godmother! Cinderella, what are you doing here? We're looking for Belle. Prince Adam, is that you? In the fur, the Fu turned me into a beast. But how? I think he had a magic wand. Aha, we knew it. Don't worry, we'll get this all sorted out. I might not have my magic wand, but I can still make the impossible possible. If anyone objects to why these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Anyone? Please, anyone, please, please object. I object. And who, may I ask, are you? I am Prince Adam, also known as the Beast. It's a tale as old as time. Back a while ago, I wasn't very nice, and an enchantress, she, she turned me into a beast, and there was a single rose, and I had to fall in love with somebody, anybody, yeah, anybody who would love a hideous, beast like me, and so I found Belle after I threw her father in a dungeon, and she switched places with him, and through the days, we learned to eat together and walk together. She used to pet my fur a little bit, and I felt, we fell in love, and she kissed me, and uh, I turned back, and we danced, and that's the tale as old as time part that I was mentioning. Yeah, uh, and all of my furniture, they all turned back into humans because they were these other <laughs> creatures and furniture and candlesticks and things like that. I'm not making this up. It's real. Got it. Bippity boppity prince. Oh! <gasps> Adam, you're back. 
Thank goodness. Prince Adam, I'm so sorry. It's you that Belle should marry. <gasps> what? Ah, oh, shucks. Fairy Godmother, do what you will with Gaston. <gasps> no, 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 not the one! You don't know what it's capable of! Uh, wait, not yet. Get the mirror. <gasps> this mirror? Bippity, boppity, bye bye oh! Well, my work's done here. Ooh, I'm hungry. Aren't you hungry, stomach? Ooh, I just feel it. <laughs> you know, LeFou, I have no idea why Belle just won't marry me. I'm the most handsome man in all of the world, obviously, and then there's you. Wait a minute. Maybe she won't marry me because of you! Anyway, I've been so close to marrying her about 500 times, we need to have our children, our little babies, named Egg and Gaston Jr. And then Gaston Jr. Jr. It's meant to happen, I saw the future. And then, I, then when like Elsa gets in the way, that Elsa with her frozen powers, I have frostbite on my earlobe. Do you see this? I can't go out like this. When I get out of here, may, remind me that I need to talk to Elsa about fixing that. Well, that was delicious! But you didn't finish yours. It looks like you only took one bite. You can't leave this table until you eat your whole skunk. Oh, do I have to? I feel like I've lost my appetite. It's considered an insult not to eat what I bring home. And you wouldn't want to insult your husband, would you? No, why would I do that? Gaston, what are you doing? No one spits like Gaston. Well, take it outside. Fine. Before I was married, I could spit anywhere I wanted. Now I can do what really makes me happy. LaFu! LaFu, where are you? Over here. I've been waiting for hours. Well, stop wasting time. Did it work? Yes, Gaston. Prince Adam is now the beast. Perfect. Now for the next part of my plan. <laughs> What's that, Gaston? I want you to go to the beast's castle and steal the rose. Gaston, you're so smart! Then the beast won't be able to reverse the spell! <laughs> no one's sharp as Gaston. What do you want me to do with it, then? Put it in our secret hiding place. <laughs> what an... Excellent idea! <laughs> no one will look there! <laughs> this can't be good! We need to do something about it! Well, what about sending an invitation? Be our guest? That's so sweet of Belle. What do you mean she's at Gaston's now? She would never do that. I don't understand why, and now look at me! I have to find out for myself. Belle? Belle? Are you there? Huh, the door's unlocked. Belle, Belle, wake up! I heard the worst thing. Snow White, thank you. I had the weirdest dream. Really? What was it? That I married Gas. Dawn! More like a nightmare. Have you seen Adam? He was in the dream too. Belle, we need you. It's quite urgent. My goodness, what is it, Lumiere? It's Adam. Come with me. Adam, you're a beast again? Yes, the witch did this. But I thought it was only a dream. It's very real for me. Sometimes dreams come true. Somehow, I think Gaston is behind this. You may be right. Cogsworth said he saw LeFou snooping around last night. We'll deal with those two later. Let's break this curse like we broke it last time. Where is the rose? I'll go get it. The rose, it's gone. LeFou. Ariel? Ariel, I need you. 
Belle, what's wrong? Ariel, I need your mermaid skills. What do you say, Ariel? Do you want to take LeFou for a swim? Belle, you wouldn't! I don't think you'd make a really good merman, LeFou. Okay, it's at Gaston's, but you'll never find it. It's hidden. Tell us. I can think of five dozen reasons not to. The first one is Gaston will clobber me. Five dozen? That's all I need. Thanks, LeFou! Oh, I'm such a chicken. <laughs> These are his precious chickens. The guy eats five dozen eggs every morning. That LeFou is so simple. He doesn't think you'd figure it out. It's gotta be here somewhere. Careful not to let the chickens run free. That's the idea. <gasps> Wait, here it is. Now what? Now is when I declare that there is only one person that has my heart, and that is the beast. <sighs> <sighs> oh, hey, Merida. Hey, Lathamath. Uh. Yeah, um, do you know where we're supposed to meet at the dress shop after school? I have a sailing practice with Maui. I sure do. I'm supposed to be in archery practice, but I wouldn't miss this for anything. Oh, what is it? It's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm so excited. We have so much to plan. How am I gonna do my makeup? How am I gonna do my hair? <gasps> Breathe, Tiana, that's why we're here. You guys, what's going on? It's finally here! <laughs> uh, prom? What, wait, what's that? We don't have proms in Motunui. It's a school dance where we decorate the gym, we get all dressed up, and we dance the night away. <gasps> it's the best night ever. <gasps> but we all need one thing, and it's the most important part of prom. What's that? We need our prom dresses. Ladies, it's time to say yes to the dress. Let's do this. All right. You okay there, Moana? I don't know, I just, I've never worn a big fancy poofy dress before. Oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. We're gonna find you the perfect dress, one that's a style all your own. Come on, let's okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen so many dresses in my life. <laughs> I know, isn't it magical? They have every style and shape imaginable, which means it's time to try on some dresses, people. Princess prom on three. One, two, three. Princess, Princess prom. prom. <laughs> we are going to look so cool at prom in these dresses, you guys. We're all going to be the belle of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all we need is our dancing partners, and we are set for prom. Wait, what? I have to go to prom with someone? You don't need a date, but I'm hoping a certain frog prince asks me. And I'll probably go with Beast. Oops, I mean Prince Adam. He probably won't want to wear all that fur on the dance floor. Don't look at me. I'm not going with any clansmen. I won't be betrothed or be prompt. I'm going by myself and I'll dance with whoever I like. Moana, you can just go alone. Or ask a friend like I'm going to. Ooh, who are you going to ask, Elsa? Jack Frost? Hans? No way would you go with that walking sideburn, would you? Let it go. You'll all just have to wait and find out. See you soon. Hey guys, where's Ariel? Oh, I hear she's working on her dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> Prom. I think I'm getting pretty excited about it. <sighs> Come on, legs. We can do this. We have to practice for prom. You put your right leg in, you put your right leg out. Yeah, you're doing it! You put your right leg in and you shake it all about. Oh, oh I got you. Whew. Nice save, Eric. Thanks. Ooh, what's this? Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they dance in the moonlight. Will you go with me to prom night? Yes, I'll go with you to prom. And dance the night away with me? I'm working on it. Woo, I am worn out after all that dress shopping. Mmm, something sure smells good. 
What's this? P R O M. Prom? Big Edie wouldn't refuse if I wrote it in gumbo. Oh, I would love to go to prom with you, Naveen, on one condition. Uh, what's that? We go as humans, not frogs. Totally agree. <laughs> Get it? Totally. How riveting. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here? Adam, hello! Do you have a particular question to ask me? <gasps> hmm, I wonder what this could be. <laughs> is this a protein shake? It sure is my belly button. Gaston, what are you doing here? Asking you to prom, see? That says morp. Well, I wrote it in the mirror so you'd be able to read it. Ugh, Gaston, we read the same way. Not really. You read a lot, I don't. So what do you say? Prom, me, you, us, dance, prom, me, dance. Gaston, uh get out of my house! You can do this, Elsa. You've been friends since, like, forever, and he loves to dance. There's no way he'd say no. But what if he does? Or what if it's weird? No, I'm going to do this. Long time no see. So I was wondering if you'd like to... Hey, hey, stop it. <laughs> Wanna, your rooster's bugging me. Maui, go to prom with me? What? Just, you know, just as a friend, it's really casual. I don't know, Moana. Demigods don't usually do those human traditions. There'll be food. Hmm. Maui likes food. And punch. Keep talking. <laughs> and dancing. Ooh, Maui gets to get his groove on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I will take that as a yes. You're welcome. <laughs> no, no. And one more thing, no! Come on, Merida. You said that if I hit the bullseye, you go to prom with me. I said if you hit the bullseye with your arrow, I'd go to prom with you. You didn't say that. That's what I meant, not what you did. I want your hand to go to prom fair and square, Merida. And you know it. Ugh. I've been to prom. Yay. Can you believe it, Naveen? Prom is finally here. And I am ready to bust a move. <laughs> Are you going to vote for prom king and queen? I already know who I'm going to vote for. Uh, starts with a T and it rhymes with Priyana. Hmm. Sounds like it rings a bell. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's Belle and Adam. Hey guys. So you finally got up the nerve to ask Belle to the prom, huh, Adam? Yeah, I was really nervous, but I decorated the entire library with roses. It was amazing, but you'll never believe who asked me first. Who? No one goes to prom with Gaston. No one dances with Gaston. No one ever thinks he wants to be twirled like Gaston. Singing to yourself again, Gaston. Hey, Hans. Yeah, Belle wouldn't go to prom with me. I mean, I don't get it. Look at these muscles. You know. There is a way that you and Belle could be paired up for prom. Bro, pears don't have protein. I don't eat fruit. No, use the biggest muscle you have. I am. Oh. Vote team, pro, me, ka, ing, and queen. Vote prom, king, and queen. That's it! Oh, Gaston, you genius, you! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Say cheese! Chee hoo! Chee hoo! Chee hoo! Maui, can you please take one normal picture? You don't like bunny ears? I love them, but come on, my grandma Tala is gonna frame this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Chee hoo! Chee -hoo! Are you sure about this, Ariel? Well, we could get some punch first. Nope. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I want to show you my skills, son. This is the dab. This is the whip and nene. Are you sure that's how you do it? 
positive. It's so fun because you get to act like a horse. Okay. <laughs> Merda, the flower thingy fell off again. Well, if you'd quit screaming, I could actually try to secure it. You keep poking me. I keep poking you because you're screaming. I'm screaming because you're poking me. Do you want to dance? I do like this song. Yeah, come on, Merida. Lighten up, have some fun. All right, you're right. I agree. Let's dance. Happy prom night, everyone. You made it. <gasps> Yay, Elsa's here. <sighs> the party is complete, woo! So who did you ask to prom, Elsa? Yeah, where is he? Everyone, I'd like you to meet one of the coolest guys I know and my best friend. Olaf in the house! Yeah. All right, everybody, as student body vice president and president, it's now time to find out who our prom king and prom queen are. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, I think Maui would look great in a crown. That would be so cool if you won, Elsa. Well, you have my vote, Olaf. Oh, you're gonna make me melt. Good luck, Belle. Thanks, girl, you too. Dengwa has two L's, right? Sure does. Wait a minute. Did you vote for me, Merida? Of course. I've got to support my fellow clansmen. And our prom queen is... Belle! <gasps> I wonder who our prom king is. <laughs> and our prom king is... What? This can't be. Who is it? What does it say? Gaston. Gaston. Ew. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Taco Bell and I would like to thank you all for voting us the rightful and glorious prom king and queen. <laughs> oh, this can't be happening! Bell, oh Bell. What do you want, Gaston? Bell, if you married me, I'd make you the happiest wife ever. How is that? Everyone knows that. Here, let me ask this complete stranger. Excuse me, random stranger. Who would make the bestest husband ever? Why, you, Gaston. As a specimen, you're quite intimidating. See, I'm the husband that every girl dreams about. Thanks for the food. Is there anyone present today who objects to the wedding between these two? I do! There's no reason Belle should marry Gaston. Don't be a sore loser, Adam. All the women in the village want to marry me. And Belle is from the village. That's just dumb logic. Why, thank you. Now, Minister, please continue. Gaston, do you take Belle to be your wife? Through good times and bad, better or worse, from now until forever? I do. Now, Bill, do you take Gaston to be your husband through good times and bad, better or worse, from now until forever? Are you sure you want to do this? Well... She does. Well then, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and his wife. Don't they just make the perfect couple? Like Jay-Z and Beyonce! Good morning, Belle! Is my breakfast ready? I found a bag of oatmeal in the shed, so I made you some. I'm so glad you're eating healthy. I heard you eat like an animal. Oatmeal? That's what I feed my chickens! Speaking of which, where are my five dozen eggs? I didn't see any eggs in the refrigerator. Of course not. You have to go out and collect them from the chickens each morning. Oh, I can't believe I have to collect eggs! Five 
Gaston every morning? Here you are, Gaston. Five dozen eggs. Gee, you sure are a swell wife, Belle. I'm so glad you're so happy I decided to get you a wedding present. Boy, Gaston, that's so unlike you. I'm touched. It's my favorite book. Here, the ending brings me to tears. Oh. It's a coloring book. Haven't you ever read a real book? Of course, I love comic books. I hate to leave you alone, but there's something I need to take care of. Huh. I'm never alone when I have one of these. LaFeu, hurry! What's so urgent, Gaston? It's that pesky Prince Adam. He tried to stop the wedding! Yeah, why is he always butting into everyone's business? Here's what you need to do. Uh-huh. Go to the witch's shack in the Black Woods. You mean the one that put the spell on Prince Adam? That's the one. And give her this photo. That's your wedding photo! And tell her the spell didn't work after all. Oh, and she'll turn Prince Adam back into the beast! That's right, my little sidekick. Gaston, you're a genius! No one's slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston. No one's neck is incredibly thick as Gaston. Belle, get me my boots. I have to go out and get us some dinner. Why don't we go out to a nice restaurant? No, I prefer to surprise you. Now, where are my boots? What's with these messy things? Uh, it smells like you stepped in a horse. Ah, oh, yes, the manly smell that reminds me I'm the king of the woods and you are my queen. All mine. No, Gaston made me get rid of my cell phone. He said if women were meant to have cell phones, they would walk around with little suitcases with shoulder straps on them to carry them in. You mean, like a purse? <laughs> no, he doesn't like feminine things like that. But he is getting us a nice takeout dinner. He doesn't expect me to cook and do dishes every night. Maybe I'm wrong about him. Maybe he is considerate. Oh, Belle, good news. Your husband Better run, is girl. back. Better girl. home with dinner. <laughs> Belly button, I'm home. Are you ready for a great dinner? Gaston? That was quick. How'd you get to town and back already? Town? Belle, why would I go to town and spend money on some complicated meal that has more than one ingredient? What do you mean, Gaston? I caught our dinner. Here. What is that? A skunk? No, oh, I bet it tastes awful! No, not really. It kind of tastes like liver. Now go cook it and save yourself a leg. I don't know how Gaston can actually eat this stuff. Oh, I think I'm going on a diet. So, how is Belle holding up as Gaston's wife? Turns out we may be wrong about him. He's really considerate. Oh, wow, that's great. Belle must be really happy. Open up or you'll be sorry. I'm not falling for that again. You can have food, whatever you want. Aren't you going to let me in? Of course. What was true love no longer isn't. What are you talking about? This. How did you get that? You must find true love before the last petal falls from this rose. Oh no, not again! <laughs> Something doesn't seem quite right. Do you guys think I should be Gaston's wife? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to know what happens, we'll make a part two, but only if we get this video up to 10,000 likes. Bye!